Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with my Galaxy S7 Edge to talk about Samsung's advanced UI, which can be installed on your S7 or S7 Edge via an app called GoodLock. Now, one of the most interesting things is that you can install an app and it completely changes your lock screen, your notification pull down bar, and even the recent apps is completely revamped. This app's giving me an idea that Samsung's attempting to revamp their touch with skin and they're testing things out with this app, but I wanna hear from you guys what you think of this overhaul to their user interface, uh, but let's go ahead and check it out. When you install the GoodLock app, it does prompt you to reboot the device. And then if you do want to revert back to the old UI, all you really have to do is uninstall the app and it will revert back to it. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes. I'll also link to the app in the description of the video if you're interested. So here's some of the changes. First of all, the lock screen got revamped. I did disable my thumbprint unlock for the sake of this video and I just have swipe to unlock. Now up at the top, there's a customizable clock. I'll show you that in a second, but you can swipe down from it and it's going to bring up some widgets and you can add customize you can reorder widgets as well to your liking uh, going back takes you back to your lock screen now here is one big thing that samsung's always needed to do with their touch with ui with notifications you don't have to tap on the notification and then swipe to go to that app you can now finally double tap on an app and it's going to go into that notification that has been needed on TouchWiz for a long time so let's go back to that lock screen and then down at the bottom you'll see some apps uh, you can pull up on this arrow and you'll see another row of apps. You can edit them, customize them, reorder them, etc. And then if you want to open one of them, you can swipe up from the bottom. It's going to go straight into that app. Not only did the lock screen get themed, the pull down bar did as well. So check it out. It is completely different. The icons are different. The colors are different. And you'll see very Android N like with these quick shortcut toggles at the top. Pull down again and it's going to take you into that full menu right there with things such as flashlight, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all your various settings as well. Up at the top, you'll notice there's a settings button. I'll get to that in a second, an extra settings button, I should say. Now, when it comes to notifications, there is some new actions that you can do, and they are helpful. Some people might like them, some people might not. To dismiss it, all you have to do is swipe to the left. However, if you swipe to the right, it's going to go into the keep drawer. So you'll see a keep option. I select it, and here's all of the notifications I have swiped to the right to keep right there. Now, another thing, action you can do on notifications is press and hold on them. So pressing and holding on a notification brings up a specific menu where you can categorize apps by that plus folder. You can show app info. Now, this is my favorite one, is that you can re-alert for that notification. So I'm gonna hit after 10 minutes or dismiss right there, but if I hit after 10 minutes, that notification will alert me again within that 10 minutes just to show up. So if I dismiss it, it should pop back up in 10 minutes. I'll come back and check on that. Sure enough, 10 minutes later, you'll see that it re-notified me. And it has a different icon right there, letting you know it's a re-notification, not a new one, that little white circle right there. So a nice addition to notifications. Finally, the last UI change is that recent apps button. Check it out. It is completely different. Uh, so this is an interesting take. So you see when you swipe up, it has a little animation right there for all of the apps. You'll see it lets you know which apps can use split window as well. You do have that app tray that's down at the bottom once more. Now, one of my favorite things about this is check this out, guys. So if I want to open an app in the pop-up window, press and hold on that specific app and you can drop it anywhere on the screen as you can see and it's going to open in that pop-up window. So let's go to another app. Uh, maybe if I wanted to open Twitter up. So I press and hold on it. Let's open it right there. So just an added functionality to that multi-window function or that pop-up window function. I'm not exactly sure how much I like the UI of it with just app icons right there as opposed to squares with the apps themselves. However, it's a little bit different. So if I go ahead and press X on one, it's going to get rid of it. Um, I don't know if you can swipe them away. I didn't think you could. No, you can't. So you do have to press X to actually get out of it. So pressing home should bring me back to the home screen, but it is a little buggy as you can see, but pressing home minimize those apps that I did have open. Now you can go directly into the Good Lock app to show options. However, there's also that extra settings button I mentioned to get into the Good Lock app as well. So routines is interesting because you can create a routine. So let's say you want one for when you're at work. I'm gonna hit next, and then it's gonna go ahead and show your location. You can add it when you are at a specific spot. I'm gonna hit next, and then you can set the time, all day, whenever you want. Select the style of the clock widget. So as you can see, that clock widget is customizable, as I mentioned. And then you can set quick settings as well, such as uh, what settings you want, what modes you want as well. Next, you have an entire color theme and then you have an entire layout. So you don't have to have widgets if you don't want to, you don't have to have notifications or app tray and you can customize the widgets 
an app tray as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish. It says all settings for work routine are completed. So that work routine added uh, gets turned on during that time and also when you are at that location. And then you'll see um, it will actually pop up and let you know you're at work with that location option right there. It got updated with that clock. I also wanna add within the Good Lock app with the lock screen settings, you can enable a lock screen wallpaper, colored wallpaper, and then there's also an effect that you have. I have rectangle added right now, but there's lens flare, blind, none if you don't want any of them but here's the rectangle one showing it off as you can see when you move it does animate for that lock screen but overall that's samsung's advanced ui via the good lock app uh, let me know what you think leave a comment lots of interesting changes like i said if you want to try it out feel free i'll link to it in the description you can also uninstall it if you don't like it so click this click the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video click the subscribe button lots more coverage to come on samsung and other various phones as well so uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys.